So sorry that we weren't able to get with you sooner, but you ended up falling asleep in your chair for a little bit Mm -hmm. here in our lobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. It happens all the time, actually. People are obviously coming in to the sleep clinic here to try and understand conditions like their insomnia, other varieties of sleep deprivation, just in general sleep disorders. And she will fall asleep in our lobby at times because it's such a calming atmosphere. I mean, of course, we would want it to be as such if we are going to be conducting sleep trials all day long here. It's the middle of the day and you can't really tell, can you? Mm. We have very dim lighting in here, but I find that it really sets the tone for people who are struggling to fall asleep, puts them at ease, puts them less cold. Are you here for an appointment today? Excellent. Um, I'm going to be your practitioner. The man I'm here today. So, I'm running the show. Is it your first time in the house? I don't believe that we've met before. Yeah, it's a pleasure. My name is Cherie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a patient file for you. Is that alright? Yeah. So whenever people come in for the first time, I 
I just like to get them an account and account settlements. Um, so we can the adventure send you all of our data that we record and you know you can give us feedback. It just provides that direct link between us and you. I think it's really helpful for matters like this. Chapter. As I'm sure you're aware, sleep disorders affect the people that they do almost every single it's night. James we tried and we're trying to prevent that from happening. When he was about four years old. Anytime you need to reach us, our hotline is open to this time. And we also have an online He had a, also a happy life. Second, so. Living peacefully you know, with his mother. mother. And father, to start crafting beautiful house beside the sea. What is your first name? There were always plenty of other children for him to play with. And can you and spell that for me? And some people have a different spelling and time. Hold on. And the ocean. Perfect. That's exactly paddling. How to spell that? I'm glad it was the right. perfect life right. for a and small boy. Next is your last name. That. Can you just go ahead and spell this one, one out for me? Sometimes they can be James's a little James's mother and father went to London to do some shopping. And there was a terrible thing that had happened. Great. And I like to get your middle initial Both as well. Both of them suddenly got eaten up. Cool. Nice. In full and daylight. Your date of my date of Starting with the month on a crowded the street. Day and then the year, please. By an enormous... Angry rhinoceros, which had escaped from the London Zoo. By the way, you don't walk a day over 20, so. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm going to grab some more intake. As you can well imagine, I'm going to have you go was a rather nasty notes, experience for, for two all. such gentle you can go wait over there or can fill it out but, at the desk here. It's your choice. And then, um, and then um, it was far nastier for James me, than it was for them. Get started with the air troubles. Trial. Okay. We're over in a jiffy. Awesome. They were dead and gone in 35 seconds. Flat. <laughs> Poor James, on the other hand, okay. was still Go very much alive. All at Great. once, he found himself oh, alone, back to me when frightened in a vast yeah. and unfriendly world. Yeah. The lovely house by the seaside had to be sold immediately, and the little boy, carrying nothing but a small suitcase mm. containing a pair of pajamas mm. and a toothbrush, mm. was sent away to live with his two aunts or aunts. <laughs> Their names were Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker. And I am sorry to say that they were both really horrible people. They were selfish and lazy and cruel and Right from the beginning, they started beating poor James for almost no reason at all. They never called him by his real name, hey there. but finished. always referred to him as cool. You disgusting you little beast. Thank you. Or you filthy okay. nuisance. So I'm gonna or get some stuff you prepared. Miserable for creature. Um, the room is right down and this way. The I certainly so never the gave him left. any toys to play with, get lost. We or any picture pick up space to look at. at. It's quite big enough. This room is as bare as a prison yeah. cell. The store on the left, right down there. They live. Um, I am Aunt going Sponge to and Aunt Spiker. Get some stuff. Get your now James is well. prepared. And in a queer ramshackle house you in there. on the top of a high hill. Okay. In the cell. Thank you so England. much for filling this out. It was pretty quick, actually. Some people take a really long time, but you must know yourself quite well. The hill was awesome. awesome. so high okay. that from almost anywhere in the garden, James could look down and see for miles and miles across a marvelous landscape of woods and fields and, on a very clear day, if he looked in the right direction, he 
could see a tiny right gray dot Thank far so much away on the horizon, here. which um, was the house was that he used to live in going over with his beloved mother and what took me and father. Bit more time. And I just beyond to that, just he could see the ocean itself, over some of the answers. a long, thin streak sure of blackish blue. The triggers. I like also a line of ink bring a list of those beneath the rim of the sky. Can. Otherwise, we can just have it be a surprise as we go along. Um, but James was never allowed you briefly to go down going to off the top of that hill during the sleep trial. So Neither Aunt Spud nor Aunt Spanker could worry. ever be bothered well, to take him out with you herself. Might be left in the dark. Not even so for a small sleep. walk. If you end or up falling pink. asleep during the trial at any he certainly time, wasn't we permitted to go alone. Sleeping. We do want to make the sure the nasty little beast will the only get into the mischief if he goes out know. of the garden. So we do allow you to sleep on the spare bed after your and trial. And terrible and punishments were promised him, kindly such as being locked up in the cellar with the rats for a week. First and foremost, if he ever so much as dared to climb form. over the fence. Um, I asked you how long you the had trouble with sleeping. The garden, covered the whole of the top of the hill, which was is large and desolate, clarification and on the only tree in the entire place, more than one, more than apart five, from a clump of dirty old ten. laurel bushes at the far end, that was an ancient peach tree that never gave any peaches. There was no sway. This one I know it can no be a little bit confusing because no sand pits and ways. no other you children were ever invited. To come be white up the so hill to explain and play with poor here. James. On a scale from one to ten, there wasn't so much as a dog to or a cat night around so to keep imagine company. at number and one, you are laying down, down and closing your eyes, and he became sad asleep. Sadder. And number ten and is more and really more lonely. Each and every night, and he Praying used to spend hours every day standing in the bottom of the garden. Gazing Nothing wistfully at the lovely but forbidden world between one and ten. woods and fields okay. and an ocean that was yeah. spread out below it like a magic carpet. It's not the best, but um, hopefully today we Chapter can two. make some progress in getting you down to Here is James and Richard. Maybe After we don't have any coping he had been living with okay. With his but aunts I asked for three how you cold me if you're insomnia. Can you think of absolutely anything that you use to help you really begin? Um, whether or not it's a positive or negative for influence is not mine to judge. There came a morning Just anything at all that something helps you. rather peculiar happened to him. Okay, you can come and back this to thing that for sure. Which I say I'm was only rather you peculiar. To try some new techniques. Soon Obviously, I asked a second that thing to happen. Some of the which things that we did very today made you a little and then for you. So I just very peculiar to thing open to in its own terms, which cost a far. really so fantastically fast. peculiar yeah. thing I to asked, occur. Do you prefer visual? It all started on a blazing hot day in the middle of summer. Oh, that is very exciting. Aunt and then an aunt I asked, what is the most James soothing experience? We're all out in the garden. Having, and James had been put to work. Time with as my usual. Could you elaborate on that? This time, he was chopping wood for the kitchen stove. Oh, aunt Sponge like and Aunt Spiker were you sitting comfortably in deck chairs nearby, sipping okay. tall cool. glasses of fizzy lemonade. Okay and watching him to see that he didn't stop work comfort, from one like the one second. That we were in back then. So here is Aunt Sponge briefly was enormously fat to happen. and Next, very short. I am going she had small, to picky eyes, show you a sunken and one of those white flappy faces that looked exactly as though it had been boiled. Visual and auditory she was like a great White and soggy, we are basically going to see cabbage. what your body responds to and, and what you have a resistance to. So we can figure out what gets you to sleep, not only the fastest, but 
The wrong she wore steel rimmed spectacles that fixed on the end of her nose with a clip. The list of triggers that I have for you. She had a screeching voice and long, so, wet, but narrow so lips. Excellent. And I whenever she so got I angry or excited, some, um, little flecks of this? spit we would come shooting out of her mouth as she talked. Greatly soothed with music. They sat doing a bit of honey these two Please ghastly hacks, cords, sipping their drinks, and I try every now and again, good shape screaming at James to chop it faster for me and for you as well. Some different they also talked about in. themselves, each Chats. one saying how beautiful and she was. I'm going to track your eyes and your had a long handle mirror for sure that everything and she is kept picking it up gazing at I her own also going to face. check out your mouth I look I wanted and to make smell sure you weren't snoring or having any Love issues with breathing well. during the night sometimes Just you can tell your by the shape of my face. palate so I'm going to go with my shape as well behold my hand will the silky locks. Did you want to go ahead and, and, and I get take off it with both of my socks? You'll see my okay, dainty I'm toes. Going to set this but don't forget right now, but I will be recording after we do each much. You still so should keep track of what you enjoy. And what on the sponge with bread and spikes set. My sweet, you cannot win. Oh, Behold. Baby. My so, like I mentioned, curvy I'm going to check your my tears teeth, and my charming grin, and also look inside of your mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and perform all of those tests oh, right now, just beauty off the bat. So when How we do I all of the triggers with my tears, I can make sure you're getting the full experience as possible. I'm going to on go chin. ahead and put on my dear gloves. Old dress. Just for sanitization. Your own bones and skin. Mm -hmm. so nice. Such loveliness. They're a little bit big on me, but they belong in only to the skin clinic in so Hollywood. They need to fit more color. than just my hands. I'm oh, a bit petite. Would so that I can't be expect fine. everything to be perfect. I'd but capture all the nation's hearts. Some nice rubber gloves and they give me all the leaves. The theme of our environment. The stars would all reside. That's another reason I enjoy I think you'd make aspects right here. And a lovely Frankenstein. Just gonna make sure your Poor eyes are looking right. So he was still like slaving here. away at the chunk of blood for me. The heat was terrible. You he was sweating all over. His arm was aching. Excellent. The chopper around over here. It's a large blunt thing. Far too heavy for a small boy to use. And as he worked, James began thinking about all of the other children in the world and what they might be doing at this moment. Some would be riding tricycles around in their gardens. Some would be walking in cool woods and picking bunches of wildflowers. And all of the little French whom he used to know would be down by the seaside playing in the wet sand and splashing around in the water. Great tears began oozing out of Jacob's eyes and rolling down his cheeks a little bit brighter. He stopped working and leaned against the chop and over me, overwhelmed by his own unhappiness. What's the matter with you? Aunt Spiker screeched, glaring at him over the top of her steel spectacle palette. Uh, James began to cry. Actually, so Stop that immediately. Get on with your work. You nasty little beast. Aunt Sponge ordered for the visual. Oh, Auntie Sponge. Examination. James I'm cried out to test your And Auntie yeah. Spiker. Can't we all? Please, you can hear just for once, go down to the seaside on the bus. It isn't very yeah. far, and I feel so hot and awful and lonely. Why? 
You lazy, good-for-nothing brute, and Spiker shouted. Beat him, Unspun Neil cried. I certainly will, Aunt Spiker snapped. She glared at James, and James looked back at her with large, frightened eyes. I shall beat you later on in the day when I don't feel so hot, she said. And now, Excellent. get out of my sight, you disgusting right. little worm. Well, since Give me some here, peace, you work in just fine. James turned and think we are good and ran. To he ran off as fast as he could to the far end of the garden quick notes and hid himself from behind the and then we can dirty continue, old right? laurel bushes that we mentioned earlier on. Then he covered his face with his hands and began to cry and cry. Do you want me to read one more chapter to you? Sure. Let's do one more. Chapter three. It was at this point that the first thing of all, the rather peculiar thing that led to so many other much more peculiar For suddenly, I just behind him, James heard a rustling of leaves. He turned around, and he saw an old man in a crazy dark green suit emerging from the bushes. I am going to. He was a very small little man, but he had a huge bald head. A lot of and a face that was covered all over by bristly and black melody whiskers. So, pardon my voice. He stopped like I said, when he was about three yards away. I'm going to see and if he stood singing, leaning on his stick, and staring hard at James. Is something that would when be a benefit to you when you were his voice was so very and slow. If that is the case, we have creaky. a lot of things that we can prescribe you. I'm closer um, to me a yeah. little. I'm going to just he send you a 30 second I to little melody with here. I would love it for this right exercise if you to close the end. your eyes. I will show you something. Yeah, just really focus on the auditory stimuli. James was too frightened. I will to have you open them after we're done. The old man so really hobbled a step or two near him. Just and then on the he put a hand aspect into the pocket of his jacket. Cool. And took out a nice. small white paper right. bag. Here it goes. You see this? Mm-hmm. He whispered, waving the bag gently mm-hmm. to and fro in front of James's face. You know what this is, my dear? You know what's inside this little bag. When he came nearer still, leaning forward and pushing his face so close to James that James could feel breath blowing on his cheeks. The breath smelled musty and stale and slightly melted, like air in an old cellar. Take a look, All right, could you my dear. Briefly describe to me what him the back and to open your and tilting it towards you. Could you briefly James. describe to me um, any sensations James that you see felt in your body during those tones? Tiny green things that Anything looked like else that you little stones or crystals, each no one food. about the size of a grain of rice. They were so extraordinarily beautiful, beautiful, but there was a strange brightness about. And a sort of luminous quality, perhaps, that made them glow and Excellent. sparkle in the most wonderful way. Wonderful. Listen to them, the old man whispered. Good. Listen to them move. Right, we're gonna move on. James stared like into the back, and um, sure enough, to try there was a faint rustling sound um, coming from inside it. Like. And so then have you go he noticed that all of the tiny little green things. 
are I'm slowly, very, very slowly stirring the pot and moving place, over each other the top as here. though they were alive. Yep. And I'm going There's to more the power and magic in those yes. things in there than in and all the, the rest of the world put together. Oh, man, said softly. Thirty seconds, just like but, with all the other ones. But right, so just what relax. are they? James murmured, finding his voice at last. Where did they come from? Aha! Uh -huh, the old man whispered. You never guessed that. He was crouching a little now and pushing his face still closer and closer to James until the tip of his long nose. waving his stick madly in the air. Crocodile tongues, he cried. One thousand long, slimy crocodile tongues boiled up in the skull of a dead witch for twenty days and nights with the eyeballs of a lizard. Add the fingers of a young monkey, the gizzard of a pig, and the beak of a the juice of porcupine and three spoonfuls of sugar. Stir for another week and then let the moon do the rest. All at once, he pushed the white paper back into James' hands and said, Here, can you describe to me anything you take your experience? It's yours. Henry James Trotter stood there, clutching the bag and staring at the old man. Thanks. And now, the old man said, One more auditorium. All you've got to do is this. Go ahead and keep your eyes open for this one. Have some tuning forks that I'm going to use. Let me take a large chuckle. There are all, all of the, the little notes. green things that do it. Then, scale very slowly, in different one by one, as the ten hairs from your own head. That sets them off. It gets them going. In a couple of minutes, the water will begin to froth and bubble furiously. And as soon as that happens, you must see. quickly drink it all down, the whole jug full in one gulp. And then, my dear, you will feel it churning and boiling in your stomach, and steam will start coming out of your mouth. And immediately after that, can you marvelous things will start happening to you. That that Fabulous, you unbelievable feel. things. And you will never be miserable again in your life. Mm -hmm. Because you are miserable, yeah, aren't you? Is the 512. You needn't tell me. Mm -hmm. I know all about it. See? That was the note. Now, off you go. And do exactly as I say. And don't whisper a word of this to those two horrible aunts of yours. Not a word. And don't let those green things in there get away from you either. Because if they do escape, then they will be working their magic upon somebody else instead of you. And that isn't what you at all, is it, my dear? Whoever they first meet, be it bug, insect, animal, or tree, that will be the one who gets the full power of their magic. So hold the bag tight. Don't tear the paper. Off you go. Hurry up. Can you tell me anything? Don't wait. Now's the time. the lower tone. Hurry. Made you feel With that, Maybe. the old May I guard through the high and one, disappear through the low one, and just individually. And that was 256 stories of mine. Okay. One more for you. Yeah, I think we're almost finished. Don't worry. 
this one is going to be I think maybe a few more Just close your eyes and play this one for you three times because I can get kind of here. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. One more in. And exhale. And can you tell me anything about the experience of that, the lowest ones? Really? It's really raining. That one was 128. It's very soothing. Which one did you like the best? The high, middle, or the low. Mm. Nice. Right. Mm. 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 Senior experience. Mm -hmm. It's her first meeting with this group. So she gives mm -hmm. directions to the meeting room from the assistant to the elder. On the way down a long, long hall so where cell phone so rings. It's one of the unsuccessful applicants at the job that Emily is hiring for. Mm -hmm. While trying to let him down nicely, mm -hmm. Emily realizes mm -hmm. that she's lost. She doesn't have mm -hmm. a mental map for how the rooms are laid out. She finishes the call, finds her bearings, and gets to the meeting five minutes late, annoyed with herself. Emily is intelligent, yet she can't follow directions to a room and talk on the phone at the same time. This inability might seem strange based on the ideas about the stage so far, as there are only two items in her attention find the room and talk on the phone. Why are only two items overwhelming her prefrontal cortex? As the meeting participants settle in, mm -hmm. Emily notices a colleague checking his mm -hmm. library when her phone buzzes. She mm -hmm. isn't used to being always mm -hmm. on. The device came with her promotion. Mm -hmm. The woman who Emily wants to hire as her assistant. Their meeting needs to be rescheduled. Emily responds straight away, keeping a partial eye on the meeting. As she types the message, she feels almost a little sick. A bit like how she feels when she tries to read as a passenger in the car. Her brain is doing something it doesn't want to do. She finishes and focuses her attention. 
good for the reading portion of our test. Did you feel like that was relaxing for you? Excellent. I'll go ahead and take note of that. Alright, so the last thing that I wanted to do was a countdown from 10 to 0. And by 0, I want you to try to feel very relaxed, but also ready to, um, you know, fall asleep, hopefully. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, a week for our follow-up appointment.